Welcome back to Dead On TV. Tonight we cover the four fundamental functions of shooting your compound bow. The first fundamental function of shooting your compound bow, and quite easily the most important, is your anchor points. So most archers have, have two or three anchor points. Three is better because it gives you more point of reference. So the first anchor point that almost every compound bow shooter has is the string touching your nose. It should be to the same spot. Ideally it should be just on the tip of your nose, but some people prefer one side or another. You need to come to your best decision. Best practice is the centre and the tip of your nose. Now the second anchor point for most compound shooters is the knuckle somewhere in the same position of your ear. Now in my case you can see it's the first knuckle on my ear lobe. It'll always be your first knuckle for trigger release aids. And the third is your thumb or your thumb first knuckle at the same point on your jawline every time. And these must be natural and repeatable so that you can naturally come to them every time you draw. The second fundamental to shooting your bow is circle in a circle. So what that is is quite simply, and this is of course for compound bows, on your bow you have a peep sight so that's your first circle, and then what you've got to do is match that circle to the circle of your housing. Now how you've tuned your bow is up to you. Some people have that the circle in a circle is a perfect cover. Others have it so they have a very slight amount of light around theirs. Everyone's slightly different, but the, the key here for lining up sh shots every time in the same place is circle in a circle. Okay, so as you can see demonstrated here in the video with the circle in the circle is we can see first of all moving too far to the left so you're, if you imagine the big circle in this is your peep sight and the far circle is representing your, your bow sight. So what you want is a perfect match of circle in the circle and depending on your setup you may have light around it. Here you can see the circle in the circle means that it's too far to the right and then moving too far to the left. And now we have a perfect match with the circle and the circle for a straight shot. This is showing a circle where it's too high. So, and equally back in the middle, perfectly matched, and also showing where it's too low. So this is a very easy way for you to understand what circle and a circle means when you're going for your shot. The third fundamental of shooting your compound bow is a relaxed front hand. Uh, I cannot stress enough at how important this is to making your shot travel true and be dead on. So to exaggerate the point without drawing the bow, if you look down this arrow, just a simple twitch of my hand twists the bow. This is called torquing the bow. This happens very commonly throwing arrows in shots. So the way that we prevent this is we simply, when we come to full draw, so, full draw. Number one, anchor points. Number two, my circle in a circle. Number three, just before firing, I want to remember to have a relaxed front hand. Commonly, people will open their fingers like this. Um, however, some people I've noticed tend to snatch when they fire, anticipating the bow coming away from their hand. So to prevent that, I lightly touch my fingers on the front of the bow. This prevents any real talking and it reminds me that my fingers are light touching. Another new common way to do it which is very good is actually just slide a couple of fingers between the bow riser and your hand and it prevents you from gripping too hard. So the last fundamental for shooting your compound is not something that's easily demonstrated uh, on this video. Essentially what it is, is you have to remember to focus on the target you want to shoot, the center of the target, and not focus on your pin. Uh, if you focus on your pin, you tend to chase it around and get obsessed by the pin, whereas if you focus on the target, your body learns and your mind learns 
to train to bring your arm into a line with the target and where you're wanting to shoot. So I will go over the four fundamentals. So first of all, anchor points, natural and repeatable. Number two, circle in a circle. So get an even circle of your of your peep sight around your main sight. Number three, relaxed front hand. Keep it nice and relaxed. Focus on the target for number four and shoot. There you have the four fundamentals of shooting in a compound boat. I all you've got to do is keep practicing. When I started out, it really is all about just having that as a little mantra in your mind every time you make a shot. Um, if you start throwing them, you go back to those four basics. Are your anchor points consistent? Is your front hand relaxed? Are you getting a complete circle in a circle? If you keep critiquing those, you will tighten up your groups. I guarantee it. And it just takes repetition and practice and you'll get there. All right, thanks again for watching. Uh, next week we haven't decided what our topic is so if you get in on the email quick and you want us to cover something fire it through and we'll see if we can cover it thanks a lot for watching dead on tv good night